Hi Gemini and welcome to your monthly love predictions reading. This is going to be a love specific predictions reading from mid June until mid July. If you're looking for a more general predictions reading, I do have your signs readings up for the month of June on my channel. You can go and check that out. I'll be linking it up above and I'll also have it at the end of this video just in case. Let's get into it, Gemini. Let's have a look at what love has in store for you. I'm going to start your reading by pulling three oracle cards from this beautiful oracle deck, which will tell us the main three themes your sign will experience when it comes to love. I'm going to try to keep the reading general, um, but a lot of specific messages have come out. So if it doesn't resonate 100%, you may have messages in your moon or your Venus sign instead. Let's hope to get enough messages for all the Geminis that may watch this. All right, spirit, what is Gemini's main themes when it comes to love in the month ahead? Gemini's main themes when it comes to love in the month ahead. What are Gemini's main themes when it comes to love? Interesting. The back of the deck, we have one reversed. So this is interesting. You have a clear idea of what you want when it comes to love, Gemini. And I see some of you guys just trying to see how that will play out. With one reversed, it's not like it's all roses right now and rainbows. I feel like there are some things that have left you a bit apprehensive or skeptical when it comes to your love life, especially if you're already dealing with somebody. I think you're still trying to figure out whether this is something you want to pursue more seriously or whether you can take them seriously. For some of you, it feels like you're just struggling to put your faith into this connection. But I want to say with one reversed, it's like you're just trying to keep an open mind. Um, some of you are going to remain more open in terms of the types of people you meet in the month ahead and just letting different types of people come in. I see with the 11th house reversed, a major theme for you is reinventing the future of your love life in terms of the people that you deal with and the way that you look at your love situation um, it seems to be changing it's not what you expected it to be and it's not who you expected it to be with for some of you um, whereas for others of you I just feel like your type is changing if you ever had one now I think the 11th house reverse is also just talking about you kind of feeling stuck in something and wanting to break out of that habit or that sort of cycle when it comes to dating or that type of person that you seem to attract when it comes to dating trying something different over there we'll see what tarot says about that we have the five energy as well so fives always represent change for me they also represent challenges at times but I see this as being change for you Gemini I see you offering yourself some change here and I think with that five the goal is to try to see you know if it's not working how can we make it work I don't see you putting all your effort into this though. I see like if it's meant to happen, it's gonna happen. I see you kind of starting something and then not really finishing it because you're just kind of feeling your way through this. No bold action here, just sort of trying to try something new. We also have cancer over here. So another major theme for you, Gemini, seems to be modeling what you want based off somebody else's relationship. You may be comparing your love life to somebody that you care about, like your parents, if you care about them a lot if you idealize their relationship is what I mean, um, or somebody else's relationship, you're kind of looking at what they have and you're going, why can't I have that? Or I'd love to have that one day. I think with cancer here, as long as you've got some support and as long as you've got this sense of nurturing within your support group, I don't think you're going to be too bothered about getting that from a romantic person, but we'll see what Tarot says. Cancer could be talking about somebody trying to take care of you as well um, and just trying to kind of be more intimate and emotionally stable with you let's see what tarot can tell us shall we we'll start with that 11th house if a person's energy comes out specifically we're going to explore their energy towards you and their feelings towards you in the month ahead just to get a better understanding of how they fit into the respective themes clarifying that 11th house please spirit what can gemini expect when it comes to love Clarifying that 11th house energy. What can Gemini expect when it comes to love? Interesting. There's a bit of disappointment here. 
but I think it's also just associated with the feeling of surprise because you weren't expecting this. The Six of Cups, interesting. What is Gemini experiencing in love with this 11th house in the month ahead, please, Spirit? And the Six of Swords. So it is a pleasant surprise, I want to say. It just changes the way that you see yourself, the way that you see your love life with the Magician at the bottom of the deck. A bit of mixed feelings over here. We have the Queen of Cups, the Six of Cups, and the Six of Swords. Queen of Cups reverse, Six of Cups reverse, Six of Swords upright. You're going to have a conversation with somebody over here. And what they say really helps shape the way that you see your circumstances. I don't feel this being romantic, but it feels like somebody's going to talk to us about their experiences or about our experiences, and it's going to change the way that we look at our love life. For some of you, you're even considering going back to somebody over here and revisiting someone from your past um, in order to have peace and in order to feel like at the end of the day, I've done everything. And if, you know, if it's worth saving, if it's a relationship worth saving, I'm going to try to do it. Um, I'm going to try to make sure that I've done everything I can. I see as you being surprised by this though, <laughs> which is interesting. That 11th house does talk about surprises, but with the Queen of Cups reversed, you don't really know how much to invest into this yet um, because it's a bit of a sore issue. It's a bit of a, like there's love here, absolutely. But with the Six of Cups reversed, you're kind of wondering, is it the right thing to do? Should I really take a trip down memory lane with somebody from my past? Um, is that going to be helpful for me? And I think with the Six of Cups reversed, there's a nostalgic feeling about this that makes you feel very comfortable and comforted. Um, what else does Gemini need to know about this 11th house energy, please, spirit? Mm, there's definitely a person over here, so we're going to explore their energy. Are they a romantic interest or just a, somebody talking to Gemini about love? It's a romantic interest. They're showing up as an earth sign. Doesn't have to be. They're just someone who's very potential. Yeah, very strong earth sign. Little bit of air. Um, back of the deck, we have the seven of swords. So what you need to know about this 11th house energy is it is surprising you. It's making you rethink the, what you considered to be your options in love. And it's also something that you feel you have to hide from other people. There's a sneakiness about this behavior. You find this situation to be very healing it's very healing for you however it feels like you have to kind of quietly cultivate something in the shadows here we have the queen of pentacles the moon and the knight of pentacles showing up as well so it kind of feels like you have to cultivate something in the shadows and it kind of feels like your actions need to be carefully thought out you can't make any hasty decisions you may actually do something here that you will regret which promotes this conversation with the six of swords and needing to kind of talk about what has happened but I don't think so I think most of you are going to try to be very careful I mean you know yourself better do you see yourself just doing something hastily and regretting it that could be you um I see you being sneaky because the other side of this is there's some reason to maintain a level of like morals in this situation so it could be that somebody else is in another relationship but keep in mind this is somebody you already know so that's not going to apply to all of you unless you know that this person is already in another relationship it just feels like you've got to kind of be careful here because you don't want to bring the wrong kind of drama or gossip into this situation you don't want to step on anybody's toes and you don't want to give people a reason to talk about you so spirit how does this person feel about gemini this person that's coming back into their life. Ay, Dios mío. We only need like one or two cards, please, Spirit. What is this person's energy towards Gemini in the month ahead? This person's afraid. This is something that they've always wanted, apparently, but they just didn't know how to, how to get it. Yeah, that's interesting. You give them mixed feelings. So they're giving me mixed feelings. At the back of the deck, we have admiration. So I want you to know that this person's energy towards you is that they're coming back for a reason. Gemini, they never forgot about you is what I'm getting. Um, this person may have already planted some seeds with you already to imply that they're interested. We also have Terror. That was the first card that came out, Gemini, the song I'm God by Clams Casino. We have the Heart Chakra coming out. I love Anahata. We have I Like When It Rains um, by Willis. 
the, the song I think I like when it rains by Willis and the emotion boredom with just a girl by no doubt and maiden so let's talk about it shall we these two cards are interesting first of all very complementary colors very sort of retro colors pastel colors not strong feelings this is the mixed feelings energy that's why these colors are pastel whereas the others are really bright and bold this person's afraid to come back there's something that they need to do to clear the air with you and they're afraid of other people um, so I think that you might try to keep this quiet for other people. Um, this person's just afraid of what other people will think. So there's some sort of secret that maybe the two of you share, or there's something that may have happened in your past that could make other people not feel very fond about your relationship. Um, but I see that overall, the goal here is to be able to explore something further with you. This person has feelings for you already, Gemini, but they are confused because to be honest, their life hasn't been as fun since the two of you had whatever separation you had. Um, but at the same time, they don't want to be taken advantage of and they don't want this situation to leave them high and dry. You see come across as the kind of person that could leave them high and dry if you wanted to. So this person has a lot of feelings but a lot of fears as well. What is the advice for Gemini in this situation? What is the advice for Gemini in this situation? Mm, go slow with this person. Go slow with this person. Yeah, Spirit is saying the goal here is to move forward. I'm seeing move on, especially with that Six of Swords, move on um, with healthy boundaries. Yeah. So the thing about the situation, you're not being called to release anything in terms of to leave, let it go and leave it behind. But Spirit is encouraging you to go slowly as you move forward. I think that with time, what is best for you is going to be made obvious because if you're trying to avoid drama and drama ensues with this person, then it's going to be very obvious that the two of you are moving in different directions. However, for the time being, this is somebody that you need to have boundaries with in order for them to understand your needs better and vice versa. This person's energy is unpredictable. There is love here, but there's also a feeling of I'm bored and I don't know what else to do. So I'm going to call the last most exciting person in my life my Gemini now I think that you need to protect yourself and know yourself in this situation to make sure that this person isn't taking you for granted as well let's move forward we'll have a look at that five theme now for Gemini in love please spirit what is going on with that five theme for Gemini in love I interesting yeah so I like this. I like this. That five is talking about changes, but it feels like these are changes that you've kind of um, allowed to. Yeah, you've definitely instigated them. These are changes that you wanted for yourself and they're positively impacting your love life by giving you more to consider and more to step towards because this whole situation I see with the five that you're feeling like you're maybe dealing with someone or you've been in a situation that did not give you the attention or the effort that you deserve and so the back of the deck is showing me the ten of wands you hitting your wits end with something and deciding that it's not your responsibility to carry the full weight of a two-person connection by yourself I see you making changes in your life over here to ensure Sure that you're living your best life you're letting go of baggage you're allowing yourself more balance and you're focusing on multiple opportunities at the same time so for some of you who are single you're keeping your options open you're juggling this with that you're being very careful to not get tied down and to not feel overburdened because the goal here is to free yourself from unnecessary oppression I think some of you have been carrying the weight of a connection single-handedly and I see that load being shared but I see with the of cups that we do need to set boundaries here and step away from cycles behaviors and potentially relationships that have not been in our best interests that have not been helpful and that have run their course I see you closing out a cycle here um, because it's not emotionally fulfilling anymore and also because you've outgrown that situation you're trying to shed baggage so as you shed baggage you allow yourself this new opportunity you start to picking up new interests you start juggling new energies and I do see some of you entertaining two options at the same time over here with that two of pentacles trying to figure out 
about which to pursue more seriously. The goal of this five energy is to make changes that help you shed baggage so that you are free for the best options when it comes to love. Is there anything else Gemini needs to know about this five energy? The high priestess reversed. Interesting. You're kind of playing naive over here. You know that some people are a little bit like in theory, the situation may be a bit risky or the situation may seem foolish, but at the end of the day, what have you got to lose? Like I'm not trying to predict or understand or know everything. I just want to do what I feel is what I need in that situation. Playing that naive a little bit here. We also have the star card with the three of pentacles. So I do see you eventually finding someone who you admire and who admires you, someone who gives you the attention that you want, especially if you're single. Um, if you're in a relationship, I do see you trying to set boundaries and make changes within that relationship to ensure that the two of you aren't just rolling along and coasting along. I see you being able to heal um, the situation, working with these changes and obviously overall being able to collaborate with your partner the three of pentacles in general is talking about being admired if you're single meeting new people and meeting someone in a collaborative setting so for some of you this is looking like speed dating even or just brushing shoulders with friends of friends um, a friend of the family or someone who in a, in a setting that feels a little bit easier to kind of be sociable, you know, because you're almost brought there by an external factor. But I see overall that the goal here is to kind of meet people with similar interests, similar goals, and to feel like you can work with the person that you're dealing with in love. And it's a very present moment approach to love. You're not trying to predict too much or understand too much of what's going on behind the scenes in the unknown intuitive void. You're just trying to stay present over here. So let us get some advice. Back of the deck is the Hierophant. So I do see you seeking advice from people throughout the way, asking friends, um, families, dating coaches, what should I do? What should I do about this? The goal here is to get into something that is well supported in terms of a relationship that fits what you need right now. So I see you looking at love in a very practical sort of way, um, getting advice from people along the way as well. Okay, Spirit, what is the advice over here with this five energy for Gemini? What advice do you have for Gemini when it comes to their love life with this number five? Taurus, interesting. To be honest, we've got, oh, as soon as I said Taurus, self-care came out. Um, we've got a lot of signs for you, so I don't think it'd be helpful for me to tell you everything. I'll tell you the major arcana cards. We've got Taurus, we've got Cancer. We've got Pisces, Aquarius is very strong actually. Um, but there was also some water signs, some air signs. So we've got a lot of signs technically. Cancer and Aquarius are the strongest at this stage. What is the advice for Gemini please spirit? In this five theme, what is the advice? Okay, interesting. And we have love, anxiety, and begin. I'm going to take love. So I do see a very Taurus approach to love over here in the sense of you're, you're putting your needs first. You're approaching it by ways of like trying to do it in a way like or seeing meeting people in a way where it's helping you feel confident, approaching a relationship from a space of trying to take care of yourself first, adding somebody else to your life from a space of how do they complement what I already have. Your advice over here is to really build your self image and work on your confidence because I do see a lot of you meeting new people in the month ahead. For those who are in relationships, I see new cycles that will require confidence. And I think that the goal here as you make these changes is to just come from a space of what do I need right now in my life? What changes do I need to make to fulfill my needs? Childhood reversed over here is saying that you've got to let something go. A behavior, a cycle, a pattern is no longer helpful. And so use this foolish man, this, this leap of faith, this new beginning without your baggage to walk away from anything that hasn't been helpful when it comes to your love life. And this is mostly expressing the way that these things have been making you feel. If it hasn't been building to your self-care or your self-image, your self-esteem, your self-confidence, then maybe it's time to reassess. 
what we've been doing there or that relationship in general. I do see with love over here, Gemini, that spirit is encouraging you to continue your pursuit for love, to not give up and to not let your past make you think that you've run it, you've run your course and that it's not going to get better or things aren't going to smooth out. I see some of you being able to successfully reinvent a relationship but I see others of you seeking a new connection in general, 100%. So let's have a look at Cancer now. What is happening with this third theme for Gemini? I got my nails done this week and I'm still getting used to them. <laughs> They're a new shape. I, don't, I haven't had these nails before, that shape. So I'm still struggling to like pick things up. All right, Spirit. What is happening with Cancer for Gemini? What is this Cancer theme for Gemini? What is this cancer theme for Gemini? Wow, I'm hearing let them give to you this time. So some of you were having people pleasing tendencies in your previous relationships or with a person you're currently with. And Spirit is saying let them give to you this time with this cancer. Let them nurture you. Let them show you with their actions, with their words, that they are here for you. Don't be the one to kind of overextend yourself and push beyond the realms of responsibility. We have that Six of Pentacles, which just fell on the ground, High Priestess again, and Wheel of Fortune upright letting this person step forward and be more of a nurturer is going to not only reveal the deficits in the connections of your past but also help supplement what you need right now so i feel like if this is a past person gemini you need to let this person step up to the plate because they need the opportunity to show you that they can be this balanced person that you need right now this person who can give as much as they take if this is a new person, you're really being encouraged to use this new relationship or this new connection as a chance to get some balance and harmony back into your love life in general to ensure that from the beginning, you're not overgiving. I see that being very positive and moving forward positively very quickly with the Wheel of Fortune, as long as you don't fall back into old patterns of self-destruction. I think with that High Priestess Reverse, the best thing that you can do in the month ahead is just stay present, try not to linger too far back, try not to worry too far ahead, stay present, be in the moment and check yourself in every instance. Is this something that is balanced in this situation? Is this action needed in this situation? Is this action necessary or am I overextending myself? Is there anything else that Gemini needs to know? Oh my Lord, these cards. I can't blame the cards. It's my nails. Is there anything else Gemini needs to know about that cancer energy? Yeah, because I see a huge positive shift once you do that. A huge positive shift. Interesting. Okay, so for those who are dealing with more than one person in love, let them kind of prove themselves to you okay don't make your mind up based on the early stages i think that if you're seeing more than one person continue that until their actions their values their energy in your life their effort their attention towards you proves to you which one you should pursue because i see some of you being too quick to kind of fall for your love interests and not giving yourself enough time to get over that initial butterfly period where everything is so romantic and it's exciting and anything that they do is amazing and you're kind of blind to their realities to their deficits so i think that you need to give this situation time if you're meeting new people if you're in an existing relationship you still need this person to prove themselves because it feels like there's competition here and it feels like you may accidentally settle for the wrong person unless they are given the opportunity to show you the real them so that you can understand exactly who you're signing up for here and that could apply to those who are in connections that may be struggling i think that there needs to be a reset here and we have to kind of get rid of some baggage we have to get rid of some drama we have to get rid of some unhelpful um, energy. Um, I just see a very challenging energy here of, well, you're not doing what I want you to do, but I don't know how to tell you that now. So I'm going to just put my guard up. And also, I think that when you 
proclaim your loyalty Gemini you're a very loyal person and I don't want you to get trapped and that's what that those three cards are also saying is that somebody may hurt you and somebody may show you that they're not so great side um, but because you're so loyal because you're so nurturing and giving you might accidentally get trapped in that situation with them in their chaotic energy so let them kind of show you with time with their efforts with their actions that they can give you exactly what you need and until then just keep cultivating your own garden and keep your options wide open when it comes to love what is the advice over here with cancer for gemini we have communication what is the advice over here yeah, so some of you, if you just ask the right questions, these people will reveal themselves. You might spend like a whole weekend with somebody and think, God, they're amazing. But you didn't really talk to them about their goals, their dreams, their aspirations, what's important to them, what do they do in their free time. And as soon as you ask those kinds of questions, you're going to realize that the two of you either have nothing in common or that the two of you have a lot of differences that need to be overcome at the back of the deck we have it gets better in the reverse which tells me that for most of you you need to be grounded in reality don't over romanticize your love life right now just stay present ask questions be curious stay open to meeting people a hundred percent communication is naturally your biggest um, ally you are a gemini but it's not just about what you hear Remember, because people use words to lie, it's also about what you see. So stay observant. Let people's actions speak louder than their words. We also have power reversed and self-doubt. So I do see you doubting this situation, but I think that you shouldn't be doubting yourself. You should stay observant and curious. And with power reversed, let them prove themselves to you so that at the end of the day, whatever decision you make and whoever you choose to move forward with, bringing yourself new opportunities with this person or bringing yourself a new relationship you're making that decision based on what you know based on the facts and based on whatever grave they've dug themselves okay so that's what i'm seeing for you gemini when it comes to love in the month ahead i hope this reading was helpful for you i hope it maybe added some information to your already well-informed mind, intuitive being, or I hope that it really just kind of filled in the gaps for you. As I said before, this is a general reading. You may have messages in your moon and Venus signs if this reading didn't resonate 100%. I do recommend that you come back throughout the month to see if the messages resonate more. Otherwise, thank you so much for joining me and I hope to connect with you in another video. Bye.